Dungeon Runners Podcast. Hey, welcome to the Dungeon Runners Podcast. I'm your host, Matt, and today I'm joined with General Drown. General Drown right here. And Spike, also known as Mr. Creepypasta. Hey. Hey. Hi, good talk. <laughs> God, isn't it? I'll we'll see you next week. Yeah, yeah cool, yeah. <laughs> That's all we got time for today. What a great... <laughs> It's mostly technical technical difficulties. Look, we tried. Just fighting <laughs> computers. And, like and thus, no one can blame us. You know when, like, <laughs> the internet cuts out and you have that strange anxiety of, what, what do I do with my life? What's going on? Do you have that when Steam just doesn't connect and none of your games want to work and you're like, oh no, I've got a computer that's essentially a potato, a lightning potato. Uh. Oh. No, the oh, thing this. is, like, I don't, I've never gone through that, uh, never gone through that pain, mostly because, um, any time that Steam cuts out is only whenever I want to play with a game with my friends. <laughs> <laughs> so if you have the problem, everyone has the problem. Exactly. Yeah. And then it's not alone. It, it's still a similar situation, though, because then it's usually like, hey, let's play this. And then it's, well, never mind. Yes, we're watching anime. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, what kind of losers do you hang out with? Yes, we're watching anime. Dude, we've been watching Food Wars, and it's so cheesy. I love it. It makes me giggle like a little girl. Is that a pun? Is that an actual pun? It's so cheesy. Wow. wow. No! It's n no! That's awesome! I wish I did that on purple. <laughs> Why gotta be like this, Matt? <laughs> What is what is food wars anyway? Is it literally like a like a food war kind of thing, or is it a? Oh, I hope a, it's like fighting food ones. I, like, oh my god! All right, imagine imagine if like some like hentai anime anime maker dude anime. decided um, anime made an anime about food. It's Wait, essentially like a that. hentai artist drew drew food. It's yeah, no, no, not drawing food, but like. There's, there's, there's graphic scenes, but like, it's oh. done really fun. It's done to like really emphasize the food, basically. So you could say it's done tastefully. Wow, I'm oh. out. Bada bing. <laughs> no, I'm talking to you guys later. You guys do this podcast later. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, the funny thing is he's the one recording this and streaming it. He, so he doesn't get us laughing in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Just awkward Look. silence. Look, I'm back, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Talking about hentai, if you could- Great segue, I love it. What's, I know, what's I was struggling topic? to segue, but I was like, this is this is my no, chance. No, I gotta uh, jump on it. Talking about hentai. Speaking of segues, have you guys ever been on a segue? Oh my God, did I ever tell you guys about this one segue I wanted to see? It was literally just a giant mono wheel and it would like what? two paddles on either side of it. You just oh. stood on it and put, put pressure on it, which direction you wanted to go and just like leaned to make a turn. It's like a unit. Like, Cycle se uh, unicycle segue. It looks so yeah. lethal to drive. Yeah, it looks like it, I'll I'll die. But like you know, <laughs> at the same time, it was only like seventy five dollars. So I really wanted one. What? Yeah, that's still okay. insanely expensive. Fun I know fact. it could go up to like it could go up to like 80, 80 miles an hour. All I, all I ever want to see on if, when I see someone riding a Segway, all I want to see is them eat shit, you know, like just fall. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, like, right. It's legit. really hard to do on a Segway. All right, all right. But for real, have you ever seen a kid or a guy or whatever on a skateboard or a longboard just going down the street and you're like, eat shit, eat shit, eat shit, eat shit, eat shit. Oh, yes. <laughs> Every time I'm watching somebody who looks super cool on a, uh, uh, that looks super cool on a uh, uh, like skateboard or whatever, I, I want them just so badly to just crash. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's why everybody watches figure skating, right? You don't yeah, actually watch I it because everyone looks graceful. You, you watch it because you want to watch someone eat shit. Yeah, that's why you watch the Olympics. You want to see some people fail. Yeah. Oh, they look at them. They think they're so great doing their backflips and their triple axles. And I'm over yes. here sitting on the couch eating potato chips. <laughs> <laughs> your, your, your years of dedicated practice saddens me. You should feel bad too. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, I lost my segue to the hypothetical now. How am I supposed to do it? How about you just say it? <laughs> Guys, if you had to romance... This is a, uh, a submission, by the way. If you had to romance... And befriend any monster from movies, books, video games, or anime. Who would it be and why? So it has to be a named monster? A monster. I don't know. You can name it. If it yeah, doesn't have a name, you can think come up with a like cute a nickname. Well, the other thing like, is that I'm thinking is it wouldn't have to be... Um, you couldn't say something like Elvira, considering she's she's not actually a monster, even though she's like horror-related, right? But a, a vampire is a monster. A Frankenstein is a monster. It's just made of human parts. Hey, I'm a uh, monster in bed, if you know what I mean. Tell, tell you what, man. That's completely untrue. <laughs> 
a very short. Wait, throw wait, all these wait whoa, whoa, you whoa! Can How would you know if that's true or not? <laughs> I know <laughs> from experience. Yo, excuse me. <laughs> I was gonna say from everything I said in every podcast about me with the like the bases and stuff. You know that I'm that I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't sell yourself short, man. You never know. Um, that's actually kind of <laughs> difficult. Because, like, I'm trying to limit yeah. myself to say actually monster. It okay, but what, means, okay, well, what, what means monster to you, though? Like, you know, terrible human being. T, T, well, T. Teeth? Oh, claws. Superman one. T- Wait, what? <laughs> he's not a human being. Wait, it does, uh, that's, that see, doesn't have to be so that's the being. thing. He's not human. Yeah, yeah. that's right. I'm, I'm relatively sure monster means not human. Like, it could not be a human thing. It has to so be, it can't be human. It can't be humanoid. No, I mean like human. Define humanoid, like you know, well, like elves human are shape. humanoid. Are we talking like you know, like the uh, not like Disney mermaids, but like the horror ones? Yeah. To be fair, those horror ones are still pretty hot. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like you know, y- you're gonna go out, but you're gonna go out in a bang. <laughs> in in a bang. A do in a bang. <laughs> I don't know how. How does God. it work with fish? You have to like. Uh, well, they lay like the eggs. egg and then you just jerk it onto them. Yeah, I was gonna say just <laughs> spunk on their spawn. Like, I mean, did you ever watch that Magic School Boss episode? <laughs> I saw the Futurama one when. No, oh, I hate it. that Futurama. Why? What was a few? Fut- oh, the the I remember the one where she said, "I just lay my eggs, and then you fertilize them." And yeah, runs away. Do it. Yeah, <laughs> it's just like uh that It's kind of shallow, isn't it? Well, dude, that's why every time that, okay, so like, assuming that it's a mermaid is the thing that you would want to romance, uh, you always go for something with the fish on the top and the girl on the bottom. Well, you know, know, it's still, still a mermaid, I'd probably take it. (laughs) What about, like, banshees or sirens? It's better than that. Oh, banshee would be awesome. Oh, succubus. Oh, dude, oh, hell yeah, I'm dead, right there, bingo, that's my money. Boom. Jen? The succubus. Can we have a unanimous hypothetical for the first time in podcast history? I mean, if it's a mo- if you if you consider it a monster, then like, no, no, okay. Dog. She will I, I'm gonna have to explain this bus. to you. No, oh, God, I, I have to explain <laughs> okay. this to you. Okay, I watched this guy named uh, Mr. Mr. Rex, I think is what it is, on YouTube, and he does these um, explanations of um, he does these explanations of Dungeons and Dragons lore and Dungeons and Dragons characters. And one of the things is the succubus. He actually did a video about a succubus, and like, holy hell, it's super cool. So, because of the context of this question. You could say that um, like you're befriending, you're romancing, so you are technically like not just going along the lines of you're you're gonna wham bam thank you ma'am with her. You're actually like forming a relationship. You're actually falling in love, et cetera, et cetera. If a succubus falls in love with a human being, like if a hu- if a human being falls in love with a succubus and you kiss, it drains your life. That's how they obviously sustain themselves. Mm, it's kind of hot. If a, kinda hot. Yeah, but if a succubus falls in love with a human being and they kiss, the human being becomes what's known as a true vampire. What? <gasps> with what? with the um with the actual aid of the. Uh, uh, of the succubus. So, like, succubus from that point on becomes, like, the servant to the vampire. Oh, my gosh. All you have to do is lay down the moves. Give him, like, yes. the, the raise the eyebrows. Being like, hey, hey, hey. If you could see my me right now, I'm doing the eyebrow dance going, hey. But doesn't that imply that you can't be the one trying to dis- seduce the succubus? Because that means you fall in for them. It's, yeah, I- can the love be mutual? Can you b- both... Being. Yeah, you can be the 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 idea is that the succubus has to fall in love with you. Okay, you can't so be the object. You of can s- you could st- just want to be friends, and she she'll just fall in love with you. Yeah, but then yes, I mean that technically that would also work. You, if you had no interest in her, but she has she was in love with you, that would also work. Yeah. Mm. What are succubuses into? Like, is it a money thing, or is it like you know tall dark? That's handsome? not money. It's unknown. Is it the Jesus. dick? Is it the d- it's probably not dick? Have, yeah, I was gonna think like uh, a succubus who is like a, cre- a creature of pure sexuality. I wouldn't imagine that dick would be that much of an yeah, impression. Yeah, of all things. <laughs> so uh, if you're with a succubus and they you kiss, but you're in love with them, they're not in love with you. They suck your your life away. But what if they give you hmm. the uh, you know little sucky sucky? Like, does that, can you be like friends with benefits is what I'm saying with a succubus? No, you, you die. They can suck your life through any orifice. They can like suck okay. your ass and it's like, oh no, so, I'm uh, literally <laughs> feeling my life leaving my ass. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know that. What a way <laughs> well, to you go. Should know the law. Hang on, know the law. I'll, tweet, I'll tweet at him and we'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out together. <laughs> All right, but what if you're going steady with a succubus and you just want to be like, you're like I'm going to hold her hand and then that's touching. Does that count? Um, I think what it, what it truly is with a succubus is supposed to be a kiss. Really? Like the kiss is supposed to be the symbol of affection. You know what I'm saying? 
So like you don't you don't just kiss somebody that you're not you're not at least you don't know at least a little bit about. Look, yeah. okay, I'm not gonna judge you. Whatever no. you do on your Saturdays is you. No, I'm just trying to think. I'm just trying to think of like, but and everything I think of, it just goes further down this rabbit hole that I'm a bit scared to open up right now. <laughs> So <laughs> Look, okay. my final answer you is... You bang a succubus, you're gonna die unless you're a true vampire. <laughs> That's where this is well, going. Wait, if you're a true vampire, could you bang any succubus? Or are you... Did, what if you get another one to fall in love with you? Could you become like a true, true vampire? Okay. Does it stack? Yes. Oh. Yes, it does. Really? No, you're making this up, aren't you? Uh, technically, so as a vampire is like kind of master of seduction kind of thing... It you can um, it it does kind of work in that way. The succubus hmm. army must grow. <laughs> Wait, I mean, have you ever seen the movie Van Helsing? The no, uh, no, no? The, well, the really bad one with uh, yeah, Hugh the terrible. Yeah, did they make a I new mean, one? It wasn't terrible. Did they? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. But like in the first one, they had the uh, the vampire of, uh, Frank Frankenstein and all that, and like he had his mistresses, and they were all like you know they're all like he was he's the best, he's the coolest. I could be cool guy, cool guy vampire. Yeah. Um, yes. Yes. My final answer is the headless horseman. Wait, Ooh. why? <laughs> wow. Aside from is the, it fact the horse that you guys or the man? <laughs> That's up to you to figure out. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> well, you like you guys know what like the Dolahan story is, right? I actually don't. You don't? No, I know very little bit about any of that kind of. Uh, so, like a Dolahan is a a a, f a fairy, like F A E I R E. Like that one instead of the like F I A I R Y. Like uh, apparently like Dolahans are like minions of death, and if they know your name and they say it out loud, they you'll just die. That's horrible. I'd never want to wear a name tag. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, those poor Walmart workers. <laughs> I think it's like I think it's like Norse mythology. I think that was supposed to be Irish, wasn't it? Oh, oh man, sounds like a yeah. But yeah, it's fucking yeah. But so wait, why cool. would you want to romance and bang a Dulahan though? Like just give them names. It'd be like your own little death note book. Well, uh, wait, so yeah. you, what you what you're saying is you actually want to uh, you're you're using you're using your love at this point to uh, to just get pure revenge. No, not revenge. I didn't say anything about specific names. I just give them names. <laughs> <laughs> I, just walking down the street is like, hey, that guy looks like a Mark. You should say Mark to him. You say, <laughs> oh my god, Mark, 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 oh my gosh, run, <laughs> run, run. <laughs> then you see someone in front of you fall over. <laughs> Holy shit, that would be so, that would be such an interesting thing. You just call out someone's name, see how many of them turn, they just immediately die. <laughs> 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 that would be so fucked. <laughs> I'm down. You would be down if they guess your name, right? It's like the, it's like the, what was it? The, the, the story with the cursed painting or Rumpelstiltskin? Oh, no, you think, what? oh, what? Dorian Gray. Maybe. Dorian Gray, is that his name? That's I never about. read Dorian Gray. I watched the, what, what is it? The, the one Maybe. TV show, Penny Dreadful, that had like the thing about it. Was there a movie for Dorian Gray? Yeah, it took forever. It's like three hours long, I think. Holy I hell! I, no, I just know the story. I've never. I aged it. more than or, the painting. It. <laughs> I mean, I know the I know the legend. The thing about like you know, if he looks at his own painting, uh, then he'll become the same. Swap the age of it, and what one painting continually grows older while he remains the same, or whatever it is. Right? I thought it was like if they stab the painting, isn't it? Yeah. It, is it, if he it's, it's um, it? it's his life is in the painting. I think like yeah, because it's uh, as long as the painting's there, he's immortal. But then yeah, yeah, again. That one might be like in real life. You ever heard of this guy called Keanu Reeves? No. Oh yeah, yeah. You know that I've, painting of that movies. really old, like Renaissance looking guy that looks just like Keanu Reeves? Yeah. And then Keanu Reeves has <laughs> never aged. Have you never thought? It adds up. Think about mm -hmm. it. She wake up, sheeple. <laughs> Fairy <laughs> tales are real. I believe it. So what's, your, what's your actual choice? What's your, you, you've chosen? We, we got two for succubus. What's your final? I, I would go with either, to be honest, with either one I said. Pal, a mermaid, too. Like, even the horror monster ones, I'm down with that. I'm down to clam. The, the uh, wait, Matt, so you're going succubus, too? Succubus, oh, yeah. I, I came up with it. I'm the one. I invented succubus, okay? <laughs> we better not be fighting right. for the same succubus. That would be weird. We both kiss her, and, like, one of us will die, and one of us becomes a true vampire, but we don't that's, know until that's we That's the challenge. Dude, yeah. Guys, <laughs> Love triangle with other. a twist. No, we just kiss each other. Wait. Yeah. Well, no. Yeah, the dead person could. We could just. Well, what? 
<laughs> I kind of confused myself. I kind of like went all yeah. over kissing. Like I did so many scenarios in my head on who kiss, who's kissing who that I lost track of who's a vampire and who's not. Just it just ends up with you and Spike going down down the aisle. Wow, you totally took that in a direction I was not expecting you to there. And I, I'm I'm glad you did though. Okay. Oh, because one of us is gonna be a monster, the vampire. I get it. Yes. Ah. ah. Did you? Are you? It took me a while. Mm. Right. You gotta think. Of, you gotta think of, you're playing the long con. Yeah. It's like I want. I want Spike to pick the succubus, so I can pick Spike later on down the line. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not exactly comfortable with it, but you know, whatever. <laughs> Oh, you don't even get a choice. It's the, the, the hypothetical. You, you get what you pick. <laughs> you get what I pick. <laughs> that's not fair. You can just be like, okay, yeah, well, I pick you, a mermaid. Well, I pick Spike. <laughs> you think that mermaid has got a choice? You think that sucky voice, sucky voice has a choice? Fine, I pick Jen. It's the best no. anime character. It's a good choice. Anime monster. Yeah. Jen, what have you been up to this week? Fucking nothing. God, I don't get to do working. anything. You're working though. I just work 10 hours every day. That's all I do. I come home. I work. I come home. I talk to you guys, maybe, and then go to sleep. Are you That's... literally that Rihanna song? That work, 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 work. No one Better knows why it's after work. Work, 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 work. Like, all I do at work is me try to memorize, like, fucking songs. <laughs> I was gonna say, isn't that what everyone kind of does? <laughs> yeah. Right now, I'm like, the, I learned the fucking, uh, uh, the robot hell. That was it. Really? Yeah. Do you at least get to listen? I know because you do factory work. You get at least get to listen. No, to, uh... you don't get to listen to headphones, uh, to earphones. Why? Yeah, I'm guessing so it's I want... health and safety. Yeah, it's safety. Like if because they have oh, like just backing up towards you, have to be able to... like, look out, Jen. Oh no, man down. Because <laughs> <laughs> we're working on machines, and you guys may have seen them on my Twitter page, but like. Those most machines are fucking loud, so we have to wear these um, uh, earmuffs to protect the from the. You know, you guys know there's a frequency that you can't hear, but it will fuck up your hearing permanently. No, yeah. what? It's like super high or super low or something like that. And but there's like there's freq frequencies that are so pitched up or pitched down or whatever it is that you won't hear it, and your hearing will get fucked up anyways. That's I did insane. not know that. It's fucking scary. Yeah, and that's why we have to wear the earmuffs because there's shit going on like that. Wait. What about if you get those, uh, you know, those Apple earbud things that are just Bluetooth, but they're just literally oh, the, 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 the wireless earbuds? Yeah, the earbuds, right? Yeah, you get earbuds. Okay, legit, I was thinking about that, and I was <laughs> going to look into it today, because I really want to be able to listen to SGDQ at the very least. Just do one ear, though, so you can listen out for, Jen, look out, there's, there's, the, the crate is about to fall, and the rope's about to snap. You're gonna die. The anvil from the sky. <laughs> yeah, the anvil, the, the piano that we've just the been wily coyote. <laughs> the wily coyote. Yeah, with the help sign. <laughs> the giant bulge is teetering on the edge that falls on the other way towards the coyote. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just he's just on a fucking what is uh, like a board on top of a rock, and he's trying to launch one off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, Matt, what have you been up to? Gosh, gosh. Well, I haven't. I didn't come to the last podcast i was replaced with blue which did she did a really good i listened through to it through, through it and she did a really good british accent the the chip chip cheerio and <laughs> aluminium i really like that bit <laughs> but you're um, gonna say it's wrong that's right aluminium yeah it's pretty correct she she got it spot on first time in ages that I've, oh man it's beautiful spot on that brev did spot on it's jolly good <laughs> it's jolly good <laughs> um anyways Today, I had to deal with a wasp's nest that was in my roof. Whew, I hate wasp nests so much. <laughs> no, it wasn't wasps, sorry. It was a bee's nest. But there was wa oh, queen I wasps, it, dead queen wasps in the house. Like a few of them. Oh, what? Wait, yeah, queen wasps? A... Queen wasps. They well, just is it died. the big red ones? No, like the, the, the blue, the, not blue, yellow and black. There was... So the one I got, they weren't like honeybees, but they're like, I think they're working ones and they make like these little honey pods of where they break out. But it's really cool. I might post the picture on Twitter later, but uh, the geezer took a picture or he had one of his thermal cameras in the master bedroom, which is the front room, the front top room. And obviously it's on the roof and there's this heat spot. And he's like, yeah, through that ceiling plaster right there is where the bees hive is. Wow. You can spot that with a thermal camera? 
yeah, it's crazy. He's shown me because I was chatting to him for ages. For some reason, he just chatted to me and he didn't leave because he did the work before I got there. And he was just showing me all these pictures and he kept all the dead bees afterwards. It's really weird. That is uh, weird. I don't like that. <laughs> he kept but, um, them? Like, what does he like put them in a bag and just like... But there's wow. a few I'll queen snack wasps. on these later. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> no, because they were so old and dry. They, they must have been crispy. Like he's just picking oh. them up and saying, oh, this is a so-and-so bee from France that comes here and it's just, it's, it's, they, they make hives this time of year and tells me all these facts. But he's showing me pictures of previous France. jobs. Um, he showed me pictures of the hive, the type of hive that was at my house. Uh, mm -hmm. And he also showed me this one client's house, which the thermal... The whole ceiling from wall to wall was just hot. And he was like, yeah, oh, it's God. the biggest I've ever seen. They had to do surgery on the ceiling. So they took down all the plaster and it's just, ho it was honeybees. Um, and it's all honey combs. Oh, you could they, sell those, you know? Dude, he had bin bags full of them. And he's like, you could eat all of that. It was insane. But like, literally it looked like something out of Last of Us. If you've ever seen that game. It was yeah. so uh, weird, just lumpy sort of skin looking textures that look solid. <laughs> it was so horrible to look at. I did couldn't you, imagine living next to it. Did you call a bee uh, bee farm or did you call in a a uh, what did, what did those things call like pest control? Uh, they called yeah. pest control. Yeah. They weren't honey bees. Oh. They weren't like the ones that are dying. I don't think. I think they're the ones that are like everywhere. Oh, okay, well the that's common like, bee. You call like a local bee farm. They'll do it for you. Really? really? I did not yeah, know. Yeah, like, like if you have like real bees, like no, the normal bees, like they'll come and take it for you. Oh, uh, I don't think it was actually good bees. The bees that okay. make human produce. I think yeah, there's, like there's a bunch of different, you know, wasps <laughs> make honey too, but it's fucking disgusting. Is it? I did not know that. Yeah. You know what yeah. else is disgusting? Just wasps in general. They're assholes. Yeah, wa wasps suck. Oh my god. He's no, telling the, me. Uh, like, have you guys the... ever been stung by a wasp? No. Yes. No, wait, no, 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 I haven't. What have you been uh, stung by? That you bee. got confused with a wasp? It was, it was, okay. a, it was a bee. Gotcha. Die after. But, okay. No. So what? So what it was? It was um. It was on the floor in the bathroom. It just like died. Oh. And it stepped on. It. Stepped on yeah. it with barefoot. My mom got caught. Oh. With one of those. My dad. That happens a lot. My dad had like one of those fly swatter things, and there's this bee. It's like I got it, and it launches it straight into my mom's leg and just stings her. Like this oh dead God. thing just is like a ninja star. Uh, wait, have you gotten something wasp like? No, oh. I, I, I am too much of a pansy when it comes down to insects in general. Okay, like literally, if there is a, if there is any kind of insect nearby me, I will just dodge out of the way and flail my arms like a crazy man. Like, <laughs> I, there's a, there's a child in front of me and a bee coming in my direction. I will knock the child in the way. <laughs> <laughs> Survival of <laughs> Dude, that's the, exactly the it. Was, he was just picking them up though, because they were they were long dead, but I'm still scared of the stingers. And he's just putting them in his hand saying, like, telling me all these things. And I'm like, yeah, you ever been stung by them? I suppose it comes with the territory. He's like, yeah, yeah. But oddly enough, I'm scared of spiders. I'm like, what? <laughs> you literally crawl into like lofts or attics or whatever with wasps and bees nests and stuff, telling me all these horror stories, and you're scared of common house spiders. What the hell? That was a uh, that was a, a guy who uh, came came by and did our um, did some of our our pest control stuff as well. Um, it was it was pretty it was actually kind of funny because uh, this guy when he shows up like Me Megan just calls me downstairs and she's like hey um, there's pest control wants to come come talk to you I was like I didn't even know we had pest control out here right now it's like no um, he's he's apparently doing parts of the neighborhood right now uh, but he just decided to like oh yeah we'll we'll come you know we'll, we're gonna go ahead and help everyone out. Um, this guy come down downstairs. This guy is gorgeous. Like he's the most gorgeous looking man I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> and um, I'm just like, how in the fuck? Who are you? And um, he uh, explained to us, no, like this is, you know, like this is what we're doing. We're going around all the houses because we've already put up a barrier on one of the houses down the street uh, who called us out. We have to do all the other houses because once the bugs leave one house, they move into the next one and so on and so forth. So anybody that's been buying them, we have to talk to the neighbors. We give them a discount. So we went ahead and bought it. Um, but no, this guy, gorgeous looking guy, it's like, yeah, I get terrified, terrified of insects. <laughs> like, I can't do insects. It's like, so they just hired you to be the handsome guy that sells the service, didn't they? <laughs> this is it. You go door to door, you talk to people, and they're just mesmerized by your gorgeous eyes. 
Dude, I would love to do that. <laughs> We've talked about it before, but I would sell my body in an instant. <laughs> like, give me the choice. I'll do it. I suppose, because in my eyes, he's kind of like selling fear. He's fear mongering. He's like, hey, hey, you. Yeah, you. Are you scared of insects? Uh, yeah, why? Me too. D me too. There's lots of them. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's understandable. I I mean, honestly, I'm terrified of insects. I feel for this man. Also, he's gorgeous. So I'm down for this. <laughs> Please, just, just, I mean, if you're not going to be part of this, at least just stand around me. Yeah. <laughs> Hold me. I'm scared. Will you be my monster? <laughs> Will you do like the lift, the leg lift thing? The leg yeah, like the fallen Scooby-Doo yeah. thing. Yeah. Oh, like God. <laughs> Just like, like quaking in fear, he just carries you to bed and just like, shh, I'll take care of the monsters in your garage. <laughs> he just walks off with you into the sunset. Spike, okay. and honestly, man, it, I would not have minded. <laughs> yeah. Spike, what have you been up to this week? Oh, man. So, uh, you know, I've been telling you, like, I've been telling like, both of you guys, you guys got to get an HTC Vive. Because, um, like, this new game came out and I've been playing it. I mean, I, it came out a while ago, honestly. But I have been addicted to playing this shit. It's the Star Trek game. Um, it's Star Trek Bridge Crew. And oh. it is it is such a wild game. Like, because, I mean, I used to watch Star Trek a lot when I was in high school. Like, I mean, a lot, a lot. Uh, I watched through... I mean, oddly enough, I never watched the original Star Trek the series when I was younger. I would always watch, um, like, Star Trek Voyager, Deep Space Nine, um, The Next Generation, things like that. Never really got into Star Trek Enterprise. But um, I used to... to uh, like absolutely love Star Trek. So playing this game is so surreal, especially when people like get super into it. Like you can tell other people that used to watch Star Trek because you just start talking like freaking Star Trek characters. <laughs> You're like, oh yes. No. <laughs> Prepare us for warp. Full warp coils are charged, Captain. Setting us setting on a course. <laughs> course is laid in, Captain. Engage. Hey, right, Captain. <laughs> like, you know, like it's full on just it if the Star the the Star Trek aspect of it is just so good, and I absolutely love the game so much. I've been playing it with uh, some of my other friends that have the Vive, and man, you guys have got to get a Vive. <laughs> we got to play this shit, dude. I've been watching you. Like every time I see you online, you're playing that game. I just, I just so want to join in. I've seen a bit of the gameplay, but the thing is, I don't know anything about Star Trek. I've never really seen it, so I just want to straight away be the captain and be like. <laughs> Let's do this! Set phases to stun! Let's shoot these legend. assholes! Pew, 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 pew! Let's go kill Chewbacca! <laughs> the easiest thing to be and the hardest thing to be is the captain. Like, it's, can, it's it, 100%. The easiest and the hardest is the captain. Because the captain, you don't know half, you don't have to know anything. You just have to know the objectives. That's all you, that's all your job is to know is what you guys are supposed to do all together. That's already too much for me. Well, see, that's the thing. You just got to read the objectives and tell everybody what to do. As read. long as everybody else knows their job. Like, oh my God. <laughs> as long as everybody else knows their jobs, you can make it happen. However, um, the thing that becomes difficult about being captain is you also have to know how to strategize your team. So you know the objectives. So I don't have to know any other buttons. I don't have to change view screens. I don't have to answer hails. I don't have to do anything. I can just read the objectives. Okay, so we have to rescue everything that's all, that's out there. These a whole bunch of these pods. And you just look to your left and it shows you where all the pods are. So you're like, tap that one. Go to pod alpha one. And then they'll do that. Everybody else knows their job. They'll, they'll make it happen. But the... So, um, hmm. What's a pod? Doesn't I mean just making up a word? Like oh, okay. it'll it'll just say something like destroy ship, whatever, right? Oh, okay, because like I believe you, because as you would have guessed, I don't know what the fuck Star Trek is either. Can we you... discussed in the last podcast. I didn't know what Star Wars is. Guess what? Don't know what Star Trek is. How could you not know? What do you mean? How could I not know? I'm like, like ten years younger than you. <laughs> okay. You just it's Spike. Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. <laughs> can, can can you be a red coat? Like, can you just like phase me into the other ships, and I'll be like pew 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 pew, pew two phases. No, them, oh my god, I really wish you had away missions, man. I just want to go pew 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 pew. pew. Just drop people off in planets and leave with the can ship. Can I have a lightsaber? <laughs> I, I'm really waiting for. Uh, did you say fucking lightsaber? Can I have a lightsaber? Kick <laughs> him. Uh, but <laughs> speaking of like leaving the people of the ships, like uh, there was. Because I watch a lot of Let's Plays, and um, the best friends talk about Star Trek a lot, which is the only reason I would know any information about it. But, like, apparently there was, like, a... 
<laughs> Shut up. There's um there's like an an episode where like they just leave someone on a planet and all they do is think about like getting revenge and they're just like pretty much just like I'm pissed till they come back. Yeah. Wait, is this in the game or the would series? Would you would you not? <laughs> It's serious, I imagine. Is that, yeah, like, I that, is that pretty much the premise of the first parts of the Caribbean? <laughs> <laughs> when you think about it, it's all really just Star Trek. I think yeah. that's true, actually. <laughs> <laughs> but the, <laughs> I mean, like, here's my here's my deal about the, the whole Star Trek thing was um, that um, in in the whole world of Star Trek, it's um, essentially this this future where everyone decided like, hey. Let's not be assholes to each other. That because because uh, there's more out there than humanity. So essentially, it's the whole thing of like, if there's a common enemy, then we won't kill each other. You know. Uh, but all of humanity, when they realized, hey, there are aliens out there, and some of them are even bigger assholes than we've been, then it's like, oh shit, we should all work together. <laughs> <laughs> How's that the answer? Because then it was like, look, those guys are bigger assholes than any of us. We should kill them. Yeah. Except, you know, except for the part where you don't kill some of them because, in fact, we're working towards peace. But at the same time, you know, fuck them. So, like, yeah, that's a, the whole thing with the Klingons, the very the original series. Uh, and now the movies, too. The same thing. Like, everybody's, like, against the Klingons. The Klingons um, were originally made to look so different from humans that uh, even watching it, you were like, oh, those guys are assholes. Look at them. They look angry. But, uh, wow. you know, it turns out they're just people with different cultures, which eventually got integrated into the Federation because it turns out they're actually really nice. They just have a different culture that we weren't able to understand. Weird. That's a weird analogy, man. <laughs> you know the Why? phases in the Wait, Star that's an Trek analogy? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> um, you know the phases? Do they have, like, limited ammo in the, the Star Trek? You know the, the guns, what they have? Do they oh, have yeah, like yeah. They, oh, they do. There's a, uh, there's, well, they don't have limited ammo. It was like, remember you and me, we played, um, uh, Star Trek, uh, not Star Trek, Star Wars Battlefront. Remember how ammo was done with that? You didn't run out of ammo, but you would overheat. Like your, your weapon would overheat. So you have to charge your phaser banks. Like after they run out of energy, essentially they will recharge, but you can't just fire it nonstop. It's not unlimited energy. Cause you know what I'd do if I was in the Star Trek universe, I'd be like, Beam me into their other ship. Put me in that really tight closet. And then there's only one opening. I'll just blind fire around the corner and just wait for him to come to me. Okay, you can't do that. One, because you can't transport onto a ship with its shields up. And another thing, tracking something as small as, say, a closet would be damn near impossible. Like, it would, you would be trying to essentially hit a moving target that's the size of a fly with a pistol. It would be really, really fucking hard. <laughs> so it would be super cool if you did it, though. Yeah, yes. hard, but not impossible. This is, this is also true. Scotty has been known to do a whole bunch of hard but impossible shit. Oh, like can say, I, is he a monster? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Scotty, <laughs> he's Scottish. Does that make him a monster? I'm not exactly an expert on, on, on uh, Europe. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is he not the one with the pointy ears? No, that's a Vulcan. That's that's. <laughs> What's a Vulcan? Oh my God, you're hurting Captain? me. A, a Vulcan no! Raven from MGS1. Fuck him, punch. <laughs> <laughs> you okay over there, Spike? No, I'm not. I'm upset. <laughs> Did you do anything else this week? I no. You know what? I didn't do anything else. I thought this was good enough. I did my homework, <laughs> <laughs> but it turns out I didn't do nearly enough. <laughs> oh, I no. did. Let's play Star Trek. I played Star Trek. I <laughs> I did basic work. You know my YouTube shit that I do. I'm trying to buy a house. I feel like I've done enough, man. <laughs> <laughs> Don't need a house when you can have a flying ship. This is actually very true. <laughs> uh, that's dude vr yeah. is such a good escape for me from like like you know like when it, video gaming in general is just like a nice escape i think for all of us you know um but uh i think yeah i wish i could do it more yeah i mean it's just uh i mean because even still when you're um when you're off work and your day's off you play video games it's a nice you know way to blow off steam and things like that uh and it's the yeah. same exact thing for me whenever i'm playing uh Whenever I'm playing VR, it's so nice. Like I've been playing uh, Super Hot, also Super Hot VR. Oh my God, Super Hot, so cool! Oh, it's so fun. I've always I wanted to play it. It's so it's super hot. good. It's super super fun. Super hot. Yeah, super. 
And like it makes you feel like like a like an action hero because you know a guy like just you just spawn in a guy's got a gun in your face you grab a hold of an ashtray bash him in the face with it catch the gun and it's so good at just like de-stressing you know because it makes me feel like I just crash you in the nose fuck you man <laughs> fuck yeah <laughs> you ain't as cool as me I control time <laughs> but yeah that's all I've been doing I've been I've been a nerd playing video games what do you do what do you do huh well you know what has what been on this week hmm. E three. <gasps> oh! More of my video games? More <laughs> video game hype! <laughs> Is there anything good? I have not got a chance to catch up on E3 at all. Has, has there been anything actually to be hyped about? Start it's from the no top, Man's Matt. Guy. Start from the top. Oh, the first one is EA. Um, they Ooh. had the first conference. And I could pretty much sum up 90% of it with one chant. Sports, okay. sports, 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 sports. Literally, that it, that pretty much most of it was like fast cut gameplay of like different sport games and Star Wars. But dude, oh, the, dude. the new Star Wars Battlefront 2, they did a 30 minute uh, gameplay thing of it. It looks immense. They've stopped, uh, you know, in the first Battlefront, uh, the, the newer one anyway. Yeah. Uh, to get into the flying ships or to become Darth Vader or whatever, you had to pick up those tokens. So everyone used to stand around, pick up the tokens and not play the game. Instead, mm -hmm. you kind of rewarded with your skills. So you kind of build up these points and eventually you can buy it uh, in the game. You know, like you rack up enough score and then you can spawn in as Darth Vader or not Darth Vader, whatever Jedi's Jedi, Star Wars. I don't know Star Wars. <laughs> Come on, man. We're watching no Star watches. Wars together. No one watches Star Wars. We're gonna watch Star Wars together, dude. There's no. so many of them. And so Nobody dude, has them. It's good. Shit, half of them are good. <laughs> but dude, like most of the conference, well, most of them talking about the Star Wars. The big thing they emphasized was the listening to everyone. So like when everyone was like, "Hey, that Star Wars Battlefront is a pretty cool game. Where's the campaign?" Now they've got like their own unique story to the game. That's like it ties in between. Two of the movies that I don't know because I don't know the movies. It was something to do with Star Wars. It's like between this Star Wars movie and this other Star Wars movie, it's its own unique come story. You can fill in the blanks. Yeah. Okay. I'm okay. I'm I'm actually kind of hyped for that. That sounds really awesome. Yeah, dude, it looks really cool. And the graphics, like the the first one's graphics, are really good. But like the new one, like oh, it, it looks so gorgeous. They, I don't know how they nailed it with the Star Wars games, but the graphics are just stunning. Well, they kind of have to, you know? Hmm. Well, I mean, you don't have to, but I, I can see. <laughs> <laughs> Did they have anything else cool at EA? Or is that it? Uh, yeah. Well, the, the other thing they showed like that was pretty heavily featured was Need for Speed something. Need for Speed Payback. But it's basically Fast and Furious now. Like, they've always been kind of jumping off this Fast and Furious thing. Ever since Need for Speed Underground, I want to say. Uh, That's forever. But like yeah. this one's, it's all action now. It's it's barely a racing game. It's like you're pretty much chasing this one armored lorry truck thing. And it's you have to try to steal the car. So you have to drive close so this woman can jump on the hood of the car and jump in it and jack the car. But there's these other cars trying to ram you off the road. So you hit them and you go slow mode. It's like, <laughs> but like every time you knock one of them off, it does this really cool slow-mo crash, but it looks like it's going to get so annoying real quick how it keeps slowing down and taking you away from the action. Is it oh. like a constant thing? Like you like you could literally do it like three times in a row? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, like <laughs> there's loads of cars, so you just hit, hit one of them and eventually you make them crash into something, so it does that slow-mo thing. Kind of reminds me of Burnout, Burnout? Yeah, that's what I was thinking about. Yeah. But Burnout didn't uh, do dude, it all the time. Yeah, no, they did it tastefully, which is really nice. Um, but a game worth looking at is from the makers of Brothers Tale of Two Sons. They're making oh, this yeah, game yeah, for, I remember that one. Uh, yeah, um, so they teamed up with EA. I think EA bought the company or they made a new company and joined EA. And they're making this co-op game, which is split screen. Like, even if you play it online, it's split screen. Um, but it's called Way Out. And it's kind of like this prison break thing. One of them's this tough guy. This other guy's like more charismatic and say, uh, one of the examples was you're doing the prison laundry. So you're in this thing and you need to get this one cart, which has like these towels to help you break out or something like that. So, and it showed different 
scenario. So like one of them goes up to the guard and says, oh, hey, so-and-so is about to start a fight. And the tough guy just punches one of them and they start rushing to him and then you steal it. Or you can get him to wrestle the guard or something and he does the other thing. And it's really cool because it's it reminds me of Hitman, how you can do levels in so many different ways, but it's done on the two characters kind of strengths, if you know what I mean. Yes. Fine. Yes. I didn't even know you could get out get out of the car in Need for Speed games. No, no, this one's a different game. Oh. This one's way out. Uh, oh. the, from the makers of Brothers Two uh, Tale of Two Sons. Oh. It's this prison game called Way Out. It looks really cool. Yeah, oh, I'm gonna have to check that one out then. I don't care about Star Wars yeah. and Need for Speed, but I'll check that one out. The yeah. Fuck, man. <laughs> <laughs> so who's who is up next? So, yeah, like what was the next after EA? Well, anything Sims actually? I know that. Uh, I know the wife would want me to ask that. Sims? I don't think there's anything announced. Has there ever been a Sims announced at an E3? I don't know. I imagine so. I think they did for the, when the Sims 4. Yeah, when the game out. comes out, not when the DLC comes out, though. Yeah. I'm just curious. Like, that's the thing is, like, I don't think I've watched an EA. Actually, like, I don't think I've watched EA's conference ever. <laughs> I th Oh, yeah. Is that an EA game? Is Sims EA? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. EA games. It's in the game. It's in the game i thought because i was gonna say i kind of skipped the pc gamers one because mm. that was just like don't worry a about showcase it. of things and talking but the next one is microsoft so all xbox one stuff and i did see some they, of this they're releasing pardon i did see some of this yeah dude they're releasing a new console called the xbox one x That's so stupid. oh god the xbox the, the right? xbox <laughs> xbox x, x. do you see the one uh someone put xbox one together and put like a little x and you know the X at the end, and puts a little X, and it looks like one yeah. of those really old school gamer tags. Yeah, Xbox X, 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 Xbox X. <laughs> but the thing that got me about this conference was, um, you know, when Xbox One first released, and they were like, "Hey, this thing plays Netflix. Hey, this thing can play movies. Oh, games. What are they for, nerds? Do you don't need games?" And they kind of like killed. Wait, what? Well, when they first released the Xbox One, they were like, most of you guys play Netflix. So we've made this a home entertainment console. And like a lot of people complained because they were like, you didn't really show as many games. No. That was just all all features that were just, you know, movies and Netflix related. On this one, they kept referring to everyone as gamers. They're like, yeah, you guys are real gamers. And everyone's cheering and they're like, yeah, well, we know what the gamers want yeah and every time they said gamers it just made me cringe hard yeah well because they put like such hard emphasis on the word right yeah game they're talking some to people you actually see it as a derogative term because they're like oh film people aren't called filmers so why are gamers called gamers personally i've got no issue with it but i had some guy like kind of not giving me beef he was just like saying this stuff and i was like i don't know what to do mate i can't i can't undo the internet <laughs> but it's just that's a common term now i'm sorry i don't think it's Wait, ever not been a term gamers yeah. gamers yeah dude gamers is uh the term that you used to call yourself back in high school yeah now you just call yourself a normal human being now i play video games but like the gaming culture has tons of labels like noob like it's, it's just tons of slang for like people you know? Yeah. It's just, it's just got the stupidest slang. It's great, but stupid. Frankly, it's funny. It's not a problem, but whatever. People will have a problem with anything. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't understand it. They showed what? a car game. They showed a they car? Showed, they showed car a car game, and then they showed the car for the car game. <laughs> yeah. What? Somehow... I, I think they must have got this deal with Porsche, but they they were like, yeah, this car has never been released outside of their, like, secret underground factory in the Porsche labs or whatever. They unveiled the new Porsche 911, uh, some random name after it that signifies it's the newer version. And then they showed it being test driven in Forza. And they were like, we're going to tie in, like, new cars and stuff. But... I don't know. To me, the way they were trying to tie in the car to the game, it was is very stretchy. You know, it was like this car is very powerful, just like the game. Yeah, and then they were like, you can see it get driven in the game. See just how powerful it is. It's like that doesn't fucking relate to real yeah, life. Yeah, that means nothing. <laughs> and like it just seemed really pointless. Yeah, and they focused on the car for a long time. They were, really? must have been getting paid. Like, they talked to no, I was specifically say, it's like one of those about things the car where, uh, a lot. 
yeah, yeah, it's one of those things like whenever you watch the car commercials and you can see that it's obviously like a CGI thing about it that makes the car look super cool. Yeah. Like, awesome. That's cool. I, I mean, that's that's a really cool thing that you guys made. However, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care enough. Yeah, really. But um, yeah, most of, most of the Xbox One was just, if it wasn't a driving game, it was a shooting game. And like this odd sprinkle here of indie games. I say indie games in quotation marks is like Minecraft. Yeah. I don't know if we can call that indie these days. No, not really. It? It's owned by Microsoft. Okay. So. I was going to yeah. say, wait, what was this? I remember seeing one thing, and I mean, I'm maybe pushing us past this conference, but the um, there was now Minecraft 4K. Is that a thing? Okay. Is, yes. I saw a I saw a picture of so, it. So, to be able to, they're, what they're doing is they're going to be giving you the ability to play Minecraft Realms with every console, including PC. That's, that's, that's really cool. cool. And then all the consoles are getting the HD pack, like a legitimate version of the HD pack, not one that you have to go download a um like a the bucket mod or what it what have you they're giving you an actual hd pack what makes the the lighting good which makes the water look cool the textures are all right you know there's only so much you can do with cubes um so like to, to support that idea they'll they're also having the 4k with hd so they want you to beat it on your your big screen and be like bam minecraft you know what made me laugh about the release of that what? though is in so they did a lot of it with like jumping around sprites in the minecraft world yeah. and they had like a, a minecraft block version of the xbox one and they had like a tablet so you can cross platform with like mobile gamers yeah and, the switch. and they had the switch and then there's no playstation because <laughs> like you know the, they're our enemy we can't show them we can't give them our precious screen time <laughs> Wait, um but why the switch okay so a lot of people don't uh, so the companies came out recently. I think it was actually Sony that came out with this. They don't see Nintendo as a a rival because they think Nintendo is their own thing. Because like yeah, was, I remember that. That was a thing saying that Nintendo is its own. Yeah, market. like Nintendo yeah. is gonna sell. Nintendo is gonna be whatever it can do. But Microsoft and Sony are the real rivals. I see. Nintendo's already well, like on a different ladder, while Microsoft and Sony are fighting to be on the same ladder, basically. I, re I remember that being a thing, that you were essentially, it, it's it's a well-known fact that if you buy a console, you'll more than likely buy a Nintendo console and one of the other two. Yes, because it's actually reasonable to get a Nintendo console and then one of the other consoles, because there's not a whole lot of crossover with them, but there is with like Microsoft and Sony and PC. Those three are like butt fucking each other. Yeah. Well, you say that, like, so they've got like their sort of AAA titles, their gritty shooters and stuff. But Xbox showed a trailer to Super Lucky's Tale, which What's looks that? like a cross between 3D Mario World and Banjo Kazooie. Yeah. Super but the Lucky's music. Tale. Pardon? Super Lucky's Tale. I've never heard of that before. It's It must be a new IP. Yeah, it's new. Well, we don't know if it's an IP, but it's definitely a new game. New game. Yeah. But, like, the music was just pure Mario to me. Like, every time I heard it, if you close your eyes, you're like, oh, that's a new Mario game. <laughs> but no, it's... The, the best way I heard it described was by Creeps, who said, like, it's basically focus testing the game. Because it's like, what are the kids into? What, what, what makes the Switch so powerful or, you know, popular or, you know, the Mario games? And it looks like they've just taken all the elements from that and tried to make their own sort of competitive game for it, in my opinion. It, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It, it could be interesting. It, uh, but, but pushing past that, we have something way more important to talk about. Something's oh. finally coming out and finally has a fucking release date. You know what it is, Spike? Fallout 4? Yeah, it came out last year. <laughs> so, <laughs> hey, no, ago. Fallout 4 VR has a thing. No, no one cares. Okay, that's no one cares about VR. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Cuphead. The game that's been in development for like three years. Wow, nobody cares about Cuphead. Look, there's so many people that care about Cuphead in that thing. <laughs> the second they said the re no, the second they said the release date, there were so many tweets saying, "Man, I can't wait for my grandkids to play Cuphead." Yeah, that's the it's thing. Out nobody gives a shit about Cuphead. No, they care so much about Cuphead. They wanted to fucking come out, but like it's just taking so long because it's like hand drawn, hand animated fucking game. It's just. They keep changing things about it, but it's finally it has a release date. I don't know what the date is anymore, but it's coming out this year, I think. Okay, here's the thing though. Nobody cares about Cuphead. Uh, fine. <laughs> 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 Too far, I didn't know what it was. I, were you watching? <laughs> <this? laughs> 
I didn't know what it was, and I think I remember you screaming about it again. I hope the show Cuphead. They have to show Cuphead, and when it showed, I I was totally oblivious while you were shouting and going, "Oh, it's Cuphead!" And I was like, "Oh, it's that thing you probably wanted to see." Man, like fuck, my Twitter feed blew up. I don't know about you guys. No, I didn't really have anything. Uh, I, I, I remember cool seeing people. one post on Tumblr. Wow. No, wow. <laughs> I still remember seeing a post on Tumblr about like, yeah, my grandkids can now play Cuphead. <laughs> but like, it was um, it, it was one of those things where it's like, I was super interested in Cuphead when they first announced it three years ago. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Now I'm kind of... I'm still excited whatever. about it, but I'm going to put my put it like on a, on a shelf, have it there when it comes out, I'll play it, I'll tell you about it. If... That's essentially where I'm at. If it comes out, cool. If it doesn't come out, you know, no skin off my bones. Because it hasn't came out for the last three years. <laughs> is it kind of like yeah. the Attack on Titan Season 2 effect? Where, like, yeah, you watch exactly. the first season, you're like, Oh my gosh, this game is such an anime boner, I can feel it pushing against my jeans. And then it took so long for the Season 2 to come out that you're like, Oh, I can't remember what happens in the first I would actually I compare that more it. to Steven Universe. Steven Universe has such really? a bad fucking release schedule. So, okay, so I, you, you got, well, Matt's kind of watched Steven Universe. I don't think Spike has, have you? No, nah, very Okay, little. so, like, at first it would come out, like, weekly, and, you know, like a normal show would come out. So mm -hmm. then, for some reason, in summer, they started releasing Steven Bombs, which would be a week of one episode each. Mind you, these episodes are 15 minutes, so that's not a fucking lot. And then... for th Wait, what? So they were actually 15, not two 15-minute episodes no, back to back? No, one 15-minute episode. Oh. And then for like three months, you wouldn't get shit. And well, that's actually what we're in right now. We're past. We're post Steven Bomb, which is we won't be getting anything unless it leaks, which it does all the time, and nobody watches that when it come on the TV. So their ratings are fucking bombing. Man, that means I'll cancel it though. I used to watch a lot of it, and then I kind of got stuck on a Steven Bomb uh, waiting period where I forgot to watch it, and now I'm scared of going back to it. Like, that's the problem though. It's like. You do like, and then some of the Stephen bombs won't have story in it. It'll be all filler. Oh, then what is the point? Nothing. Oh. They'll get, they'll give you nothing and keep giving you nothing. <laughs> 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 but like the, the problem is like that story is really good. It has plot holes clearly, but like the story is really good. But there's so much nonsense that's actually skippable. It's like it's, it's ridiculous. Also, Attack on Titan season one was good up to like the third episode. <laughs> Oh yeah, you don't like it, do you? No, I fucking hate Attack on Titan. <clears throat> and the more I looked into it, like I want, I wanted to give Attack on Titan a real chance. I wanted to fucking like it. I liked it for the first two episodes. I was fucking like, bam, the main character died or got eaten, like whoa, and then it just went straight anime, like super hard. And it just like, wasn't down with that. It was like not cool. It's because it's an anime. It's gonna go anime. Yeah, but it went like it went stupid. No, this is it went this fucking is stupid though. Yeah, the same argument I had before, which was uh, like with, with that JoJo opening. The which one? The last, the last JoJo opening for part four? No, not the last one. The second last one for part four, where it was just this is just typical anime opening. You had something special that you were like leading up to, but then you just went into typical anime opening, mm. and it's kind of it's it's annoying. It's, it's the big like one of the problems I have with uh, I'm not gonna, we're not gonna talk about this much longer. It's uh. Aaron spends so much time training to be like a, a normal Titan Slayer, he just gets this fucking ability in the third episode. And that's it. Right, is it on the third episode? It's like, it's it? like the third, third or fourth episode. It's super fucking early that it, And also, past that episode, the budget drops into the ground. Does it? Really? It becomes slideshow. Do you get, did you guys not see that when they're in the castle going down the stairs where it's literally showing a staircase rather than people walking? I, it's been so many years since I last watched it. <laughs> That I can't remember. Actually, I just yeah. remember being like, oh, this is dark. This is the first anime I've seen since Naruto. This is such a step up from Naruto. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyways, enough about that. But um, let's move on to the next one. Uh, but does have two big things. Oh, dude, Skyrim? Go ahead, man. Skyrim. Skyrim I, VR. Yeah, they have, two, they have two VR games that they're working on. First of uh -huh. all, the presentation was awesome. They had this really cool retro feel to it. Like this 50s swing jive theme park thing, Bethesda Land, it's really cute. Um, they announced two VR games, which is Doom VFR, which I can only presume is virtual hey. fucking reality. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, did he just say it? Fallout 4 Wait, no, no, VR. no, stop, hold on a second. Hold the, you just said fuck. Hold the fucking presses. 
Oh my god, he never says that! Oh, oh, editor, who is also happens to be Matt, go ahead and just isolate that one bit and give that to me. We're just gonna post that to the SoundCloud repeatedly, like, 48 times. <laughs> we'll just replace the podcast with that. Um, oh yes, that's the podcast right there, we're done. <laughs> that's the intro. We'll see next week. <laughs> Fuck it. But no, one of the- oh, say, they had some really cool stuff, but the one I want to talk about is the Creation Club thing, which is- uh, Bethesda made slash high-end mod, like really popular mod people, mod thingies. Uh, basically it's paid mods. They're, They're bringing finally back. done it. They're bringing back They're paid bringing mods. They started back. on Steam and then it failed and now they're bringing it back again. Hmm. So they've got like the high-end modders, like the really renowned ones That's... who have made really good mods in the past, slash Bethesda ones. They're making them official so it works. They're compatible with achievements and they're compatible with like your save files and any and all content they make. Like if they release a new expansion, it's going to be compatible with that. But I don't know. I don't know how I feel about paid mods because it's always been a free thing. But in the same breath, a lot of people work very hard. But And I presume they'd probably do a Patreon route if they made enough of them to make it their full-time thing. Um, on most mod sites, you have the ability to do donate to the creator. Yeah. So, um, that. So it's, yeah, then it then it's not so much a choice, then it's a paywall to get the mods in it, but it's kind of an iffy one. I don't know how I feel about it. I'm not quite decided yet. What happened the last time they did paid mods? They tried it on Steam and it, it, it failed. failed hard. It, yeah. Basically, some people start stealing mods and making them into packs and being like, here are the, here are all these mods. There's a um, horse penis uh, mod, which got loads of everyone bought it out of like hilarity because it's just put dicks on horses yeah. like huge slungs but this one's actually official stuff so it's going to be like that's not mods really mods. It's like it's like deal like dlc it's going to be dlc yeah yeah oh, yeah gosh yeah at what point does it cross into like dlc then i suppose if it's not a part of the official end product say if it's not an expandable storyline it's just like hey you can dual wield no because triple wield this that's thing that's still dlc like if it's from the creators like if you're saying it's like official like anything that modifies the game would still be on dlc because like guess what costumes with you yeah but this one like messes with the game right like i mean depending on the mod you have like a lot of the, the mods are fucking like visual updates hmm. so oh yeah like texture mods so like they're so. costume you know you know what I'm saying? I feel you. It's weird. Yeah. We'll have to see what the mods actually are. If they actually like improve the game in a significant way, like if they, I, I want to say like groundbreaking mods sort of you thing. You know, like if they sell, um, if they sell that Skyrim another another tail mod that Hell's talks about, our friend Hell's Hound, um, which like gives you another like another entire story made by a community, then maybe. But yeah. But if it's just gonna be like Macho Man the Dragon, like come on. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be trash ones like that. Like, no, I don't want to say trash, but like, you know, like gimmicky ones. Yeah. I think they're going to be like legit, like HHD 4K upscaling sort of graphical mod that you can only get with like actual months of hard work of modding. I want to, I want to presume that. I, I want to hope for like the utter, utter best mods and they'll get compensated, you know, decently for actually trying to make it a, a good thing rather than doing it off the skin of their own back. But I don't know how it works. I'm sort of presuming a lot here. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's really all we have to talk about for, like, uh, this Tesla. They don't, I mean, like, they showed some other stuff. Like, they show motion controls oh. for Skyrim with the Switch and, like, an Amiibo. They can play with it. It's not a whole lot. Uh, I thought that was really cool. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just kind of whatever. It's, it's, again, it's like a mod. <laughs> Yeah. Um, there was a new Evil Within trailer. Oh, the second Evil mm -hmm. Within? Yeah. How did you guys even feel about the first one? You guys like it? Eh. It was, I never, I only saw a bit of it, it was, but you were telling me about it the other day. The game. Spike. Yeah, I mean, that was my, my big beef with the Evil Within was that, I mean, I finished it. I finished the original game and I was like, I don't know how to feel about this because it feels, un it, it ended. I mean, like it had a beginning, the things happened in the middle and it ended. But at the same time, like... I don't know how to feel about this game because it's just it just happened <laughs> I, I, like the, it made no sense to me and then like other people were saying like months down the line like oh it's such a great game because of all the dlc and i was like well i don't want to pay more money for it i didn't like the base game <laughs> why would i pay more just to know what happens and then like the game i don't want to pay money to like the game <laughs> um so yeah i mean that's what i actually didn't know 
the Evil Thin had DLC for it, first of all. But um Yeah, apparently the DLC is what makes the entire story make sense. Really? But that like sucks. that that it kind of burns me though, because I'm like, oh, I I want it to make sense. You know, I, I want it to game? make sense from the base yeah. game. Yeah. You mean yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, the, the problem the problem the big problem I had with Evil Within as a game was that it's its mechanics started becoming very obvious. Like there's traps. These traps, traps. You get around traps. The guys there hide from them. Hit them with the thing. It actually, actually, at a point where you get weapons, like the guys aren't anything anymore. You just shoot them and get the their materials, get keys or whatever it is, and then go get other stuff. Right. Yeah. That's the thing that weirded me out about it is like when I saw the hype for it, it's like, yeah, it's made by the guy who wanted to do Resident Evil but horror and he left and he wanted to do his own thing. So they brought him into this thing. But it just looks like Resident Evil 5, the single player campaign sort of thing. Like when I was watching it, it just looked action-y rather than horror-y or action with horror creatures, which is pretty much action horror. Resident Evil yeah. 5. Resident Evil. Yeah. Survival horror. Yeah. Well, yeah. But um, at least the, the box head guy's design was cool. I mean, that was cool, right? I think he was like my favorite creature, I don't say creature, monster out of the yeah. game. Uh, but like, I don't know. Like, there was a thing I had talked about uh, like years ago, how I played the Saw video games and how the Saw video games had really good ideas. It just wasn't executed right. I mean, like, it would have been really neat to play a game that was based off of Saw, like in, in a uh, Saw 2 kind of environment where um, I'm either going through like a house that's made up of traps and trying to solve things at my own pace, which is what it kind of tried to be. But at the same time, it just didn't know how to do yeah. it. It's like <laughs> they, you gave a, a team like their very first game, like, look, we have this really huge IP. It's going to be great. It's going to be huge. Okay. It's going to be Saw. And the team's like, yeah, I never made a game before, but I'm going to do my best. And they did their best, which I mean, is commendable, but not good. It kind of fumbled the ball. Like they tried. Yeah. Yeah, they tried, but it wasn't good. <laughs> but I mean, like, <laughs> uh, but on to better notes, Sony. Sony had a conference, and Matt didn't really get to watch it because guess what? The Twitch stream was garbage. You couldn't actually watch the Twitch stream. The audio went out. What? Really? The audio went out, and it was super laggy. It was. It wasn't just laggy. It was like the frames will slow down, and it'll speed up and slow down. It's like a, a broken record player. Yeah, it was like a bad connection. So it'll just slow. It'll lag. And then it will play super fast and jittery and the people's talking will speed up and then slow down. It was fluctuating frames. It's so weird. But it threw me off. But on the other hand, I was able to watch it and <laughs> um, you, could, you were able to watch it on YouTube. And there's like a, a couple of good things that I'm going to quickly recap on. Uncharted, The Lost Legacy. It is Uncharted again. Well, it's another Uncharted, but it's with the, the female characters. Oh. Yeah, because, you know, in the other one, they were done. Now it's female mm -hmm. characters that are doing this. Um, there is also something huge. I don't know. Matt's probably gonna be super excited about this. Shadow of the Colossus is getting a PS4 HD remake in 2018. Oh, Ooh. remake. Yeah, Dude, so it's not just a re-release. Oh shit! I am so down for That's that. How they had the um, Dude, they because uh, originally, how many Colossus are in the final game? Well. There's like 12. I think they originally wanted 32, then they got it down to 16 by combining loads together. And then they jumped it down to 12 due to time restraints. And you can see like in the temple where there should be statues of the ones that the, they're just crumbly things. I'd love for them to like add a few more Colossus because I find the replayability of that game kind of hard once you know how to figure things out, if you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like a puzzle that you know the answer to. So I really want to know what they do to hopefully improve it i'd love to see some additions yeah. to it. not just a, it's a make for make it's crazy because like the shadow class has already had amazing physics because you were like the horse was floppy like the kid would stumble down and fall on things yeah the animation like things of him getting knocked around is so immense yeah it was great i um yeah i personally loved it i never finished the game though but <gasps> oh, <laughs> I really loved it. dude me and you we're gonna play Shadows of Colossus. Hell yeah! I'm sure down. To fucking do. Um, so good. So what a lot of people say is the highlight of E3 is Isomniac released a new Spider-Man game. Oh shit! I'm down. Okay, fucking, I want a new. It looks 
fucking fantastic. <laughs> it's so really? cool. I saw the gameplay trailer. Like, uh, I think it was 10 minutes of gameplay trailer. Yeah. And man, like, the way he moves around is so cool. I'm completely nerding out because mm. I never get hyped, this hyped for things. But watching it, I hope it plays as good as that gameplay trailer. I, know, I hope nothing of that gameplay trailer was faked. I want it all to be real. It, I, it oh, looks man. like all real con like all real gameplay. Here, here's my thing. I I got hyped about a lot of um of Spider-Man games because like I I I really like superhero games. I love superhero stuff. Like I got excited about Amazing Spider-Man 2 when they were talking about changing up physics and making all of it good. It was terrible. <laughs> I, I got excited about um I, I got excited about what is it? Um the uh what was the one they did also the the when they originally did uh spider-man when i was back in high school was it uh well it, God, which one was that one it was i think it was just called spider-man and then they did spider-man electro oh enter electro whatever enter electro which i thought was pretty cool but at the same time like you know they were not great yeah, games no. man <laughs> they were they were terrible games and like the only good games i've seen of spider-man have been um the amazing spider-man one which a lot of people still don't even like i mean it, it's it's okay. I it's one of my favorites because of the high action. Mm. Um, I got excited about uh, Spider Man when they did uh, um, the symbiote one. Oh, it was supposed to be closer to being comic. Yeah, book yeah, yeah. One. I know what you're talking about. The one with uh, where you can yeah. play Venom. Yeah. No, 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 no. That, that, that was an Ultimate Spider Man, which was still really good, but I wasn't hyped about it. They did one though where it was um, it was supposed to be like where symbiotes take over the entirety. Oh, of New is York. that when um, at the end it becomes the symbiote or carnage with Doctor Octopus? No, that's that's Enter Electro. Yeah. The um, this one was actually for the PS3, and you got to be a good Spider-Man by choosing Mary Jane, or a bad Spider-Man by being by choosing um, uh, Black Cat. Huh? But it, it it was dumb. Why would you do that? <laughs> Why, it's dumb. You can have stupid. Why not have both? This is stupid. <laughs> but Spike, like I'm I'm trying my best not to get hyped about a Spider-Man game, Spike? man. That's no. It has high action. I, okay, yeah. And you can web slick him. Uh-huh. And it looks fucking amazing. It looks like Spider-Man 2. I know! It looks like Spider-Man 2. Okay, I know, I get that. Hey, but wait a minute. However, wait a minute. It's... You've been hurt a few times by a certain franchise for putting out some pretty bad games. Doesn't it sound like another franchise which I don't want to talk about right now? No, I'll tell you why. The other franchise has never put out a bad game. <laughs> <laughs> Sonic, all Sonic's bad. Look, see, you hadn't talked about it. Now we're gonna have to spend twenty minutes on no, this. No, no, topic. no. We're skipping. Actually, that does give us a good, a good segue because Nintendo is next. Nintendo did show a little bit of Sonic. Uh, well, they didn't show it during the conference, but they showed that Sonic, uh, some, some more customization with Sonic Forces on the after show. So that's mm -hmm. still coming out, and it's still coming out for the Switch, and it's still gonna be look good. It's still probably gonna be an okay Sonic game because it's a three D Sonic game. So you know, there's only so much you can do. Okay. No, 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 Sonic Generations. There's only so much you can do. <laughs> uh, so, we're getting Xeno... Okay, for first off, Nintendo was literally... You guys like games? Here's all the fucking games, and we're done. Dude, Wait, really? It barely broke 30 minutes. It barely minutes. broke 25 minutes. It was 25 minutes. minutes, and it showed everything everyone wants. Okay, from the start, it shows Xenoblade, Xenoblade 2. The game gameplay looks great. The voice acting, not so great. Which, you know, you can only do so much with, you know, translations. <laughs> Uh, there's a new Kirby game, and I fucking hype for it because it's gonna be on the Switch, and actually everything that we're talking about is gonna be on the Switch, and it's gonna be fucking awesome, and I want somebody else to get the Switch so we can play Kirby games together. I'm trying my best. <laughs> there's gonna be a, a new Pokemon RPG for the Switch, but they didn't really go into a whole lot of details. Um, yeah, they just said it's a core Pokemon RPG, yeah. so it's gonna be like... I think it's going to be like a main flagship game, but instead of being like, oh, it's only on the 3DS and 2DS, it's going to be on a console because the console is now portable, which is the, the Pokemon thing yeah. of needing to be portable. And that, they could oh. do po Pokemon <laughs> Coliseum again, yeah. They could do so much with it on an actual I would really console. Love to see it. I wouldn't mind a yeah. new Pokemon Coliseum, to be honest. I like Pokemon Coliseum. Yeah. Um, and the biggest announcement, one of the biggest fucking announcements, oh, was Metroid yeah. is not dead. Metroid, in fact, is so alive, they're developing metroid prime 4 right the fuck now yeah i heard did, about that did you see the trailer release they showed nothing it was literally just metroid yeah. prime 4 oh. the text on the screen and it just got me so hyped they're like oh, i feel so teased right now stop it and show me more i want to see <laughs> samus and after the show they announced that the metroid uh 
Super Metroid 2, I think that's what it was. They, yeah. They're they're um, releasing a remake for it on the 3DS, like, now-ish. Wow, really? Yeah. So, oh, Metroid's yeah, yeah. super not dead, and some... if people don't buy fucking Metroid, then Metroid's never gonna come back. <laughs> you assholes who keep saying Metroid is dead, better buy this fucking game. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> is that what people have been saying? That Metroid They've is dead? They've been saying Metroid is dead forever, and then people uh, said the uh... nail in the coffin was Federation Forces that came out last E3, and that, that wasn't even, like, a bad game. That was like, whatever, it's a party game. I don't even know that game. What's Federation Forces? It's literally a party game. Like, you pl- you, you're, like, Metroid guys shooting each other, and that's it. They haven't brought out a Metroid flagship game since the Wii, I want to say. Did they? They didn't did bother they with the Wii U, did they? No. Or the DS. No, no. There wasn't on either of those. Or the 3DS. It's just super old. And yeah, it's been it's been a while since they gave that franchise a bit of loving. Yeah. Um. Hmm. So after that, they showed a new Yoshi game. And again, I'm not super hyped. Because I... Why? The first game I've ever played was Yoshi Story. And that looks so much like Yoshi Story. <laughs> Dude, the visuals, <laughs> it's like, a, you know how li- little big planets, like all cardboards and lo- materials, it's kind of like cardboard cutouts. Oh, I feel But you. it's so yeah. cute. It's, it had me awing. Like, I, I've never seen a Nintendo conference. This is the first one I've ever seen from start to finish live. And dude, like, I don't even get hyped for Nintendo. I, I only ever owned a Wii and that was just to play party games like Just Dance. So mm-hmm. for me to get hyped is quite... I don't know. I see it as quite a feat. Uh, it's going to also have co-op, okay. so I don't know if it's going to be online co-op. They didn't actually say anything about it. But if it does, get a switch. I want to play with someone. <laughs> <laughs> um, Breath of the Wild DLC showed. So they're showing uh, the trial of the sword. They showed the hard mode. They showed the the path of the hero, which like you know shows where your path goes and stuff. And they showed a bunch of masks. Uh, Majora's mask, mid the mask, Tingle's outfit, which is fucking weird, but... Like, it's, it's super neat. Coming out soon. DLC Pack 1. And then DLC Pack 2 is going to have something else. Also announced with that was that there's going to be four amiibos of the champions. The Goron, the Zora, the Rito, and uh, the Gruda. Have to get the, the two wipers. Have to. <laughs> Gotta buy those amiibos <sighs> at some point. Um, <sighs> and then more about Ubisoft <laughs> was the Rabbids X Mario. And it's an, it's an XCOM game. Like, straight up. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I heard about that, that they were mixing XCOM with Mario, which would be a really interesting way of doing it, because I don't think anybody's ever considered... One, I don't think anybody really considered giving Mario a gun. Hell yeah. I know, yeah. (laughs) I was like, I even wrote down, like, trust Ubisoft to give Mario a gun. (laughs) (laughs) But it looks looks legitimate. Like, I'm I'm not a fan of rabbits because they kill Rayman. I said this before, but like, whatever. But it looks good. It looks like I... It looks like a fun game. I will try it. I will play it. Um, Rocket League is going to be on the Switch. And it's going to have cross-network, and it's going to have exclusive items for your dress-up car. Okay. Do you do you play Rocket League? Does anyone here play Rocket League? I have League? it, but I never got to play it. I don't have time. I've played it. It's so fun. I bought it for everyone, and I never got around to getting everyone to play yeah, it. Yeah, we me. don't have time. That's that's my problem with it, man, is, like, it looks so fun, but, like, I cannot grasp it. I can't learn it for it worth a damn. Soccer. you got to play with friends, because if you play online, you get slaughtered. <laughs> There's, like, 12-year-olds that are just godly at the game, and you don't want to be beaten by a 12-year-old at your age, you know what I mean? Uh, I feel like you're making fun of me and Momo. Editor, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. cut to that video right now. We've got Bryce versus Mr. Creepypasta in Battle High 2A+. Hit him powerfully! One more hit! Thank you very much, Bryce. Mr. Creepypasta, you got your butt kicked by a kid. Look, okay. <laughs> I had to let him win, because if I don't let him win, I'm a monster. The game was rigged. No, not. But anyways, and then they finished with the blockbuster being Mario Odyssey, which looks stylish as fuck. And really, so they showed off the brand new ability and they also showed off like some music and they showed off the mayor, which we guess, or we're guessing what's the mayor, which is going to be Pauline of New Donk City. Uh, Pauline from New Donk, Donk. City. <laughs> um, the new ability is Mario. Mario's hat is gives him the ability to take over something. So you can literally turn Goombas or Bullet Bills or Hammer Brothers or objects or human people into Mario. Or Mario. It uh, looks so cool. Mario version. And I'm super hyped. And they showed off more of the Mexican or Mexican styled area. And it has Mario and a, yeah. a sombrero and a poncho. And I'm just like, ah. <laughs> you see he turns, so he turns into like graffiti on the wall and starts like climbing yeah, up. Yeah, that's. And as it goes into a 2D platformer, it turns into 8 bit music of the same song. And when he jumps out of it, it goes back to normal music of the same song. 
Oh wow, that's it's so cute. Honestly, the the trailer has beautiful music. It's like this fifties swing jive sort of cool. It's so stylish. Oh, and Mario takes over a T Rex at the beginning of the the trailer. What? You can, you can take over yeah. a T Rex. It's literally in the game. It wasn't just for like show. It's somewhere in the game. Yeah. Why? Because it's Mario. You can't stop him. It's so cool. Oh god, I'm so fucking hyped. So hyped for Switch games. Man, I I really want to get a Switch to play with you, mostly just for Sonic Mania, but you know, I, I still want to play Switch games with you too. Yeah. Additionally. Yeah, we need to play the video games. And especially since they said with people with subscriptions we'll have online play with classic games, we gotta do that. Gotta do the shit out of that. But we're running a little long, but we had to cover everything we did. Thanks for listening. If you want to hear us more, you can check us out on YouTube, SoundCloud. And if you want to watch us live, we do this every Tuesday on Dungeon Runners, well, twitch.tv forward slash Dungeon Runners. Oh, and, and fun fact, if you guys want to hear the uh, Dungeon Runners podcast um, on your phones or media devices where you can listen to podcasts, we are officially now on iTunes and on uh, Google Play. Oh, you can get <gasps> us on the go. In, yeah. Take us on the, the take yeah. us to the gym, listen to us there. You know? Keep us in your pocket. I don't, yeah. I don't know if you want to listen to oh, us in the gym. Man. Additionally. If you want to send us send in hypothetical questions like the one we got today, as well as any other questions you may have for the any of the members of the Dungeon Runners, that means Spike, me, Matt, Blue, Creeps, possibly Barnabas if he's ever alive. <laughs> but yeah, you can send that email to uh, dungeonrunners at gmail.com, I believe. It's dungeonrunners at gmail.com. You got yeah. it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh wait, no, that's wrong. Don't send an email to that. What? It's Dungeon Runners Podcast at gmail.com. Oh no! Dungeon Runners Podcast at, at gmail.com. I got Matt, you. Matt, edit out the other one. <laughs> <laughs> Dungeon Runners Podcast at gmail.com. We'll probably throw it into the link dump on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll make sure. All it's right. There. Farewell. Goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. Bye.